do not ride another's horse. The past and the future Buddhas, both are his servants. Who is he? Who is he? <laughs> there is a mirror kept and we are supposed to go in front of the mirror and clap three times and then bow. Whom are you bowing? <laughs> who is he who is standing in the mirror? It reflects you. If you do not know your strength, you, when you borrow another person's, you do not have to even to borrow. Banks doesn't exist. <laughs> Banks were existing, but there were a lot of slaves. Do not ride another's horse. For that, you have to have your samskriti. Practicing is very, very important. Pranayama, Yogasana, Jhana is very, very, very important. And then the warming up and the stretching exercise, walking. I heard the doctor picked up the telephone and the patient on the other side was, asked, Doctor, my blood pressure and my, my sugar level is very high. What should I do? He said, shut your bloody mouth. Put the telephone down. Go for a walk and give me a call back. After half an hour, the patient calls the doctor. Doctor, I checked. It is down only. <laughs> yes. The walk, the exercises, flowing water, fresh water, stagnant water stinks. Stagnant is one when you ride another person's horse. When you go and ask, I know it's a parent's property, it's not another, but still it is not earned by you. <laughs> Demanding the part of the parent's property, torturing them is like riding another's horse. And when you ride another person's horse, you forget to know who is he. Now you tell me who is he.